but not the aid itself unseemly. Seek it not a whom, it's not easily provoked. Think it no evil. Rejoice it not in iniquity, but rejoice it in the truth. Bear it all things, believe it all things, hope it all things, endure it all things. Eight and last. Charity never faileth, but whether there be prophecies, they shall fail. Whether there be tongues, they shall cease. Whether there be knowledge, it shall vanish away. Here ends the reading of God's word. Amen. Amen. Song, Great is Thy Faithfulness.
And look at him as well. Look at the black guys. Because this was the name that the parents gave to her, you know, 
You don't need it yourself. You can do a name change or something like that down the line. But at that time, she couldn't. So this was a name that was given by the parents. Looking at what was surrounding them, or could be that they are prophesying about their daughter. They said, open Luyemi. So, mommy and daddy, what is the English for open, open Yemi? You want to try Shadi? Okay, I saw you whispering or you know, say something to mommy. Do we have a taker in the house? Who would like to give us the English meaning of Upper Yemi? Maybe Kimatsu? Maybe go for it. Do you think you like that? I'm giving the minutes, okay? Why is he taking out his notes? <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. I should give praise. I should give praise. Amen. 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 I should give praise. Amen. Amen. And that captures it very well. You know, you look around you and you look at the gift or the present that the Lord has given to you. And you say, you know what? With what the Lord has blessed me with, I need to praise Him. Yeah. I need to shout hallelujah. I need to say, praise the Lord. This is the Lord's doing and it's marvelous in our sights. That was the cry of the parents. He said, this year the Lord has blessed us. How we are just so thankful. We're so happy. So you can imagine the joy that you may have. And that is why, like somebody said, for you to take something from a lion, you know, a lion's jaw, it takes a strong man that can bind the lion. The parents, they invested their lives in their children. They have its family, and their children is family. They pour out their souls for the benefits of their children. And that's so true, for every parent. The joy of any parent is for them to see the progress of their children. For them to see that they are making it in life. But not only in this life, they are also thinking about the future life. That by your grace, they will be able to make it to the kingdom of God. Amen. So anything that they might feel could be a threat to that. You know, they have to look at it carefully. Some years back, I was following the U.S. election. And after Obama won the election and he was choosing his cabinet, they brought up many names in it. And there are many people that probably would have qualified. But when they started looking at them, looking at them, they might say, well, we reckon there's a conflict of interest somewhere. It might not actually that the person has done something wrong, but when they look at it, they say, well, we don't think this person actually fits. Now I'd like to tell you, ladies and gentlemen, Kima and Abwen, they went through serious betting. Just to make sure, as far as the Lord has blessed the parents with, that they will make a good husband and wife together. Yeah. And I praise God that the parents they put their stamp of authority on it. They say, yes, we are convinced that they're going to make a beautiful couple. Yeah. And I'm so happy that the Lord helped them through this process. Yeah. I'm not sure where I was when it was in Michigan or probably Georgia. I'm not sure where I was when I got the news. I think it was a text message that said, our engagement date is set or something of that nature, or we're getting engaged. And I was like, the person next to me didn't know what was going on. I just put out what was my hand, and I went like, you know. <laughs> and after you waited for something for like two years or three years or probably like that, and you even fasted, you know, we have to go through seven days of fasting and prayer to say, is this the Lord's will? Is this the way God wants this to be? And I remember I even gave some questions to Opoyemi um, and Kima, asking them some very tough questions. Why do you think that Opoyemi is the one for you? You write an essay. 
You might see, you might ask him, you know, somebody that is already they graduated college and everything and they're now back to high school, is the writing. Now, okay, I want you to write, write a letter and write something, try something, okay. Suppose you come here and they're asking you, why is it okay in me? Convince him or convince her. Write it. So that I can present this to you. And the same way I talked to Kima, I said, Kima, let me know. To both of them, the same question, set of questions. That they should present to the parents. And let's see. You know? And I just want to praise the Lord. Yeah. And I want to thank both of you. Both of you, you acted in a Christian way. Especially in this age and time. Many children will be like, okay, it's off. I'm going to do what I'm going to do. They will this too beautiful. They want the approval of the parents. They want to make sure that they receive the blessings of the parents. And they waited and they waited. And I thank you. You're a fine example of what every child should do to the parents. Your parents should be very proud of what they do. I thank you, Kima. I thank you. Today is beautiful. Today is glorious. Today is a hallelujah day. We need to put on our dancing shoes. But not here. When we get to the reception. And maybe you might not see me dancing, but when you start here, I'm jumping. <laughs> and the passage that we read today, they call it the passage of love. And that's something which I would like you to keep in this marriage. Love is what has brought both of you to this point. I read the many beautiful things that Kimar wrote in part of prayer. When he was talking about the aha movement for him, you know, that's what made him, you know, well, this is the person for me. And one thing that came out very strongly in what he wrote was that Oye is selfless. She's not selfish. She thinks about him. She wants to put him forward. And he gave an example of when he was preparing for his bar exam. And she had a special music. I think that she probably not normally attends every year. And she was willing to sacrifice that just to, you know, kind like a picnic for him so he can be relaxed for his exam the following day. That is love in action. You know, somebody said that I'd rather see a, see, uh, see a salmon or see, uh, is it a salmon in action than for me to listen to one. What is cheap? Anybody can say whatever they want to say. People can say, you know what? I love you so much, I will climb the highest mountain. My tree, my child. I will cross, you know, I will swim, you know, across the deepest ocean. You know, they mention all these fantastic things. And then at the end, I said, well, I was planning to see you tonight, but it's raining outside. And here is a man or woman that will climb the highest mountain, that will swim the deepest ocean. But then it's raining outside, I'll see you tomorrow. What a contradiction. The love that both of you are shared to each other. I would like you to continue with that as you take this journey. Things will be good. But there will also be times when things will be challenging. Things will be beautiful. But there will be times when you also feel like, wow, you know, I'm just tired. And when that time comes, that's when you have to remember how you started. And the greatest factor that you need in this is Christ. Amen. You started with Christ. You need to keep Christ at the center of this relationship. And as long as you hold on to Christ, it's going to help you to keep your relationship together. Like somebody said, if you throw a sample, 
In the circle, you have to realize that Christ is in the center of the circle. Each one of you are at the end of the circle. But the closer you move inside, the closer you get to each other. So the closer relationship, that, the more you, you, know, you find to your relationship with Jesus Christ, the closer both of you will flow to each other. Come on. So happy for you. The Bible says that he that finds a good wife has found a great thing. And he finds favor in the sight of God. She's beautiful inside and beautiful outside. Amen. I saw what you wrote. <laughs> you mentioned all those beautiful qualities and you said, you know what? I don't have to talk about the physical. <laughs> Grace already there. And I hear you talk when you you talk about, you know, this, you know, black, you know, ebony or whatever it is. Stop it. All right, I'll say it. You know? So make sure you maintain that ebony. You maintain that, that's what I part of what, you know, slim for you. <laughs> but above that, she said, you love the Lord. Amen. She said, Kima loves the Lord. Amen. And I feel, according to her, not me now, not me feeling, she's the one feeling it. <laughs> that this is the man that will bless my home. This man that I feel can be the father of my children. Amen. This is the man that we can hold each other's hands and walk to the kingdom of God. Amen. And that's The only success in life in this journey is holding on to the hands of God. Amen. And that's I would like you to keep on okay. We need mothers, we need wives that are strong in the Lord. Amen. Wives that know the true meaning of power before the house of the Lord. To maintain a family altar, it falls on both of you. Don't be too busy for the Lord. Anytime you get too busy for the Lord, know if you are truly busy. We know the way it is in this country. It's never ending. If you want to do 48 hours in 24 hours, they'll let you do it. When I was in England, there was a, a, a lady, you know, and there. It's from one job, one, 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 one shift to the other, one shift to the other, never resting. She dropped it. Yeah. And at the end of the day, all the pounds started. That she gathered together, she was not there to spend the money. And many times when you see couples at log ahead, one of the things you want to check out first is that how many hours are they doing per week? There's a level to which the human body can take. If you keep up combining everything on yourself, everybody gets so stressed. You start fighting for nothing. Because you're just stressed. You stress out. So somehow both of you, you need to work this out. Because both of you are in high power professions. You ask an attorney, she has a medical doctor, those hours are great. I can't say that, am I? <laughs> I'm not allowed to say that, right? No, no, no. All right, I need to watch my man. <laughs> Good thing I have my myself on time. Right. But you know what I'm talking about? Yes, we do. So you need to find a way by which you, you know, you don't let this job consume you. That extra money is not worth it. It will destroy, it has destroyed many homes. And I pray, because I would like to keep us. I know we started a little bit, right? A little bit. <laughs> Just a little bit. <laughs> okay, all right. All right. So, I'm going to make it very short. So at this time, 
I would like to close this message. And the, best, the, the point I want to leave with both of you is this. Please, the Lord came out. Keep on respecting Kima. Keep on cherishing Kima. And Kima, that's a beautiful brand. Keep on making us smile. As far as she's smiling, hallelujah. All is well. All is well. Anytime his smile is going down, you need to find a way. And one other thing too is, you find each other now. Remember your beginnings. Don't throw away your parents and your family. They are counsel. You still need it. They don't need to interfere in your marriage. But you still need to give them respect. You still need to honor mommy and daddy. Listen to them. All they will ever bring to you is blessings. They want you good. So don't throw away the family. But I know there's boundary. You know, there are things like between the two of you that you But at the end of the day, love daddy, love mommy. Keep that love going. And keep your friends as well. They have the boundary too. You know, now what of you want. That's not too bad you can do before. But now you have to restrict it a little bit. Of all, keep Christ in the sense of this marriage. Amen. And it is well with you. Amen. 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 Therefore, if anyone can show any just cause, why these two may not be lawfully joined together, let him or her speak now or forever hold his peace. That's <laughs> all right. As you shall answer in the day of judgment, when the secrets of all hearts shall be disclosed, if either of you knows of any cause or impediment why you may not be lawfully joined together, that you now confess it. For be you well assured that any who are coupled together, other as God's word doth for love, are not joined by God, neither is their marriage lawful. Will you therefore have this woman to be your wedded wife? to live together after God's ordinance in the holy estate of matrimony, will you, Kimar, love her, comfort her, honor her, cherish her in sickness and in health, and forsaking all of them, keep yourself only unto her so long as you both shall live? I do. I do today and every day that follows. Wow. <laughs> Baby, when you have this man to be your lawful wedded husband, to live together after God's ordinance in the holy estate of matrimony, will you love, honor, and cherish him? 
in sickness and in health, and forsaking all other, keep yourself only unto him so long as you both shall live. I do. Huh? This is time when you said you heard? You heard? I do. I do. I do. I do. I do. <laughs> Who gives this woman? Who gives this woman to be married to this man? Everybody 
family. You have willingly given me your daughter, a gift that God has given you. So, in exchange for this gift, this woman I will now call my wife, I promise I will treasure her as much as you do. Amen. To have her, love her, protect her, and honor her. I likewise promise to celebrate her heritage, respect her culture, and share in her traditions.
what God have joined together, let no man put asunder. For as much as Kemar Herman and Abbey and David Daly have consented together in holy letter and have witnessed the same before this company, is by the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, that as ministers of the gospel, we pronounce you husband and wife. Yeah. And let the church say, Amen. Amen. I know there's someone who's coming to sing to both of you a beautiful song.
because he can push it on, don't worry. <laughs> Thank you. 